Let's go over uh, probably a concept that can be can generate confusion when you are subtracting numbers either using first complement or second complement. That I noticed that on the original video, the exercise was simple enough that that problem did not show up. But I'm going to try to give a couple of examples here. So let's say that we want to do the following um, subtraction: 30 minus 20, which needs to give you 10. All this is in base 10 right now. But let's say that I want to subtract this using my first complement. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to represent 30 in binary. I'm going to use the calculator here just to make my life easier for now. And 30 in binary is going to be four ones and a zero. So one, 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 and a zero. And now let's see 20. And I put 20 in binary is going to be 10 and 100 so 10 and 100. perfect and what I'm doing is a negation over here all right so what is the problem that we have over here the problem that we have over here is that we are representing these numbers as positive still and if I want to represent now the, ne the negative number of minus 20 remember that I need an extra bit to represent that sign because I lose half of the resolution so if I look at here and if I don't add an extra zero over here, this number is already considered a negative number if I look at one, which is wrong. And then when I apply the first or second complement, that most significant bit is going to swap to a zero and it's no longer representing a negative number. So what you do is, if you have these numbers over here, the, you always need to add an extra zero to the left of, the, of that number. And now I know for a fact that this 20, it's a positive number and I can safely apply first complement or second complement on these because the most significant bit is going to represent the sign. So let's do that. So if I go here and apply my first complement, the 30 does not change, so it keeps the same value. First complement, I swap the bits, so I get the 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 and then I apply addition and here you go. You know that this number is a negative number because the most significant bit is your one. So let's add this together. One, one, zero, one, zero, one. This one goes down that one, zero, one, and zero, and that one. When I'm subtracting numbers, I know that the result needs to have the same amount of bits as my operands. So here I have six bits. As an answer, I should also have six bits. But I have that extra bit over here. In first complement, remember that this last one, either if it's a one or a zero, does not matter. You need to pass it here and add it. One, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero. And here you go, six bits as your answer. And the question is, is this the right answer or not? Well, I look at the most significant bit over here, and I notice that the most significant bit in this case is equal to zero, so it's a positive number. And is this 10? Well, it is. Eight plus two gives me a 10. 10 as an answer, and this is correct. Let's just do one more example and using seconds complement just to practice a little bit more let's pick uh, two other numbers i don't know 45 minus 15 so i get 30 as an answer so let's get your 45 I'm using the calculator and then you're wondering can i use the calculator well again it's important to know what you're doing first before you use the calculator because you never know when you don't have a calculator and you need to convert things. You are learning this for the first time so for this class it's important that you practice converting decimal to binary and then validate using the calculator. So I get a 10 1, 1, 0, 1 for my 45 and let's go over 15. Well 15 is all ones, four ones and I get 1, 1, 1, 1. All right, and we want to subtract. So how do we do this one now? So remember that I need to have the same amount of bits as uh, my operand that are over there. 
And in this case, I don't need to add any additional zeros because these ones are sufficient for representing a, neg a negative number 15 because I'm already adding this extra zero over here for the sign of this number. All right, perfect. Let's apply now the seconds complement and see what we get. So I get my 45. And seconds complement, um, you can swap the bits and add one or apply the technique going from the right to the left. Uh, and when you find the first one, you keep that one and then you swap all the other bits. And so far so good. This is a negative number because my most significant bit is one. So let's add all these numbers together. One, one, zero, one goes one. 1, 1, 1, and is 1, 1, 0, and 1. The good part with seconds complement is that I don't need to do anything to that last bit. So I, have, I need to have the same amount of bits that I have on my operand. So 6 bits, 6 bits. And I don't care about that one. This number now, if I look at the most significant bit, it's a 0. So it's a positive number. And let's see if that's 30. Let's go to binary over here. And I have... 0, 2, 4, 0, and decimal, here you go. This is your 30 in base 10. And you get the right answer. All right, let's do one more now Let's give a negative, let's get a negative answer so we can see what to do just as a review again. I don't know, 10 minus 25 needs to give you minus 15 all right so let's write our 10 one zero one zero let's write our 25 and it gets one one zero zero one all right perfect all right so same thing applies over here notice that i have um 10, we need to add one more bit here for the 10 to have the same amount of bits. But now look at 25, which is my positive number, and I'm going to transform it to negative. So it has already a one, I need to add an extra zero. So I get that zero, perfect. And now I'm going to apply first complement, it does not matter for now. So my 10 keeps the same, does not change. And my 25 now, first complement, I swap the bits, so one zero. 0, 1, 1, 0. This is a negative number because my 1 is, my most significant bit is a 1. So now let's add all these things together and I get a 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 1. So I need, I need to have 6 bits as an answer. Perfect. Is this negative? Yes. My most significant bit is a one. So how do I know now which number is this guy representing? Well, I apply first complement to this one to get the answer. First complement is swapping all the bits. And here you go. This is equal to 15. So that means that this number is indeed minus 15 in one's complement.